Hello everyone! Two weeks ago we released Dark Angel, our first short film on this channel. Some of you might think that the wings in the scene are a downloaded drag and drop footage, but they are actually made with the open source 3D software Blender. Since I'm not an experienced 3D artist, I needed a good tutorial for this one. The one I found is from this dude Dross. I put a link to his channel down in the description. So if you want to check out an even longer and more detailed video than this one, feel free to visit his channel. And now let's jump in. The first step in creating the wings was to find the basic shape for them. So I took the default cube and extruded and deformed it in a way that I got this nice warm kind of thing. I searched in for pictures of like feathers and found some that I liked. Since they had no transparent background, I had to make it transparent myself. I forward the step now so you don't see the boring hour I spent with all the feathers because I really went into detail. I imported them to Blender as images as planes and used the knife tool to cut around them. Then I added an armature to create a basic bone structure and applied it with automatic weights. On my wing I created a new vertex group and used the weight painting to apply only the bottom half of the vertices to it. Of course you don't need to stick 100% to it, you can put the feathers anywhere you like but that's the way I have done it. After that, I applied a hair particle system to the wing. Because I actually wanted feathers and not hair, I set it to render as object and chose the first feather. Then it was just a matter of tweaking and rotating them to find the right direction. So I did this over and over and over again. After applying it to only the vertex group I said before, it looked kind of like I wanted it. For the next feathers, the longer ones, I brushed the particles in the particle edit mode to make them look nice and clean. A quick test render and I finally saw the result which was not satisfying. So I had to get over the tweaking process again in order to find the right setup to make me happy. Once I got this, I just had to duplicate the wing to have two of them and then I got stuck with this. For some reason, whenever I move the wing it's deforming in a weird way which was okay for me because I could cheat around it by mirroring the final render. But I still haven't fixed that issue and I have honestly no idea how to do it. So if you guys have an idea how to fix that problem, please leave a comment below because I would be happy to use that model more for future projects. Just having the wings is not good enough, so I thought about how I could blend it more into the scene. I realized that I had to rip Samia's dress in order to let the wings burst out. So I created a plane with the basic shape of a dress and used a knife tool to cut it where the wings would come through. After I found the right simulation for the fabric, I added a wind effect to give the fabric a bit of velocity in the beginning. Then I applied a new material and matched it to the color of her dress. To render it out, the scene needed some lights and the roughness value had to be adjusted as well. After all that, I just had to make the final composition, so here are the layers for you to see. The first layer was the dress simulation itself, then two layers of the fractal noise, colored in red and dark red to give it some blood on top. Next were the wings followed by some blood effects, and yes, the blood is drag and drop I downloaded it from productioncrate.com, which I can highly recommend. To give the wings burst a bit more energy, I created a small shockwave effect. A bit more blood on the surface of the stone in front of the camera, and finally some dust that got blown up by the wind. I know that this is not a high class Hollywood effect, but it sells the idea, and since the picture is shown only a few frames, I think I get away with it. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like, and if you want to see some more of our videos, just subscribe to stay tuned. Thank you for your time, and see you in the next video.